Hey, it's uh, Bruno S82 Tube here, and uh, just wanna put another video out there about this uh, Pocket Mac to give you guys um, a little a little more information here how to how to sync your device. Okay, first of all, once you install the application on your Mac, it should pop up right there. I leave mine for easy access right there, Pocket Mac for BlackBerry, and again, that's directly from the BlackBerry website. There's a link on there under software, etc. And when I put it in, now you can see that uh, little icon there, Blackberry 2, appeared on my computer. Okay? So from here, you want to go ahead and uh, open up pocket Mac for Blackberry and uh, as you can see the phone just did a quick little screen there showing you that it did in fact connect and uh, this is pretty much how the software looks it's pretty basic um, I didn't even install the CD that came with the phone because it's really not for Mac uh, if you've got a dot .Mac account, um, you can sync from here too, but if you're just looking to uh, mess with your BlackBerry, first of all, uh, the device right there should have a name. If there's not a name, then there's something wrong, and it's available. And then you can see pretty much here, you can choose to uh, get your contacts and uh, what you're getting them from. If you go under Advanced Preferences here, you can actually select how to do this you know sync all categories two-way sync over at device over at the Mac whatever you want to do um, same goes for all the other ones you can choose uh, you know calendar where do you want to import your calendar from you know and uh, pretty much that tasks notes bookmarks uh, there's only you have to install an additional uh, piece of software here for these bookmarks which I haven't done because I don't care to save all my bookmarks onto my phone uh, email sync should be already, uh, you shouldn't have to do that one um, then here is the iTunes okay and this is just for the uh, Pocket Mac software and this is the one here where um, you gotta click on that one first push iTunes sync to the Blackberry and then from here you can actually choose uh, like what do you want all of them some of them your playlists yeah, she gives you a pretty good uh, options list here same thing with iPhoto it gives you uh, you know what do you which one do you want to input there and man it's pretty cool I mean it was free it works perfectly it's never given me any trouble uh, really easy. Uh, it does take a little while to to sync. It takes about a good five minutes to sync. It isn't as quick as iTunes to iPhone, but man, it works. And when you're done, I mean, from there on, if you just leave your settings the same, all you have to do really is come up and click the sync button. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do it because, like I said, it's pretty lengthy, and I just finished um, doing it uh, this morning. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, it works great. It's free. It's uh, made from BlackBerry. I highly recommend it and uh, it pretty much works great with this phone so uh, there you go if you have any questions feel free to ask